What's up guys, Zaf here back with some more on Myoji. First off, I'd like to wish everyone happy Valentine's Day and for those who are celebrating, happy Lunar New Year. Kong Hei Toy. Right, um, I'd like to apologize for this because my After Effects has some issues. So we're just going to do this on OBS, there will be no edits, as always. There will be no edits and since it's Chinese New Year, there's a lot of firecracker action going on right now near wherever I stay and um, so don't worry you know it's not not people getting shot it's just firecrackers right we're gonna touch a bit about souls today we're gonna let to the title of the video will probably be let's talk about souls part one why because there's a lot to talk about I initially wanted to stay away from this topic because I was hoping for somebody with more knowledge to talk about it but it's been quite some time and nobody's come forth with a video so I'll try to put timestamps in the description or in the comment but first up we're going to talk about uh, what you can do in the souls function so basically when you go to you know like let's go back to main island it is your main main screen so you're not island I'm so used to that summer's war terminology to get rid of that so you go to shikigami all right choose the shiki uh, you'll choose to Tengu, then we go to Souls, then we here, what you can do is you can assign, remove, share your Souls, whatever it is, uh, you want to hit change. Once you've hit on change, on the right hand side of the screen you'll see like three different options. Uh, the first one is to equip, obviously if you want to equip this Soul or you want to remove it, you know you can choose what type, what slot, you can sort by level you can sort by grade you can sort by time uh that time is like when you when you acquired the souls or you can even sort by the substat itself or the main stat like which soul has speed so it's like these are all the souls that have the speed substats um which one has the highest crit rate i'm assuming like this one is you know all the substats and everything or you can even what what was that never mind that's that right then you have another one release which uh, you might have seen on stream this is what I did to get some Orochi skills uh, we're gonna do some right now I'm just gonna share with you guys mmm yeah sure this shy soul so I usually release like one grade 6 soul then I, I, I sort by grade um, I release like another nine more there's a counter here you can see the fortune cat says one right they were gonna release like a few great fives like one two hmm sure stuff that I wouldn't use one two three four attack bonus yeah fives there's some speed there I might keep it yep yep how many are we at we're at eight uh, this other shy soul cool I'm not gonna use that Dawn Fairy with speed, but it's a great 5, sure. Alright, so we re release 10 of this, we hit release. Hope for a super blessing and get like 6 or 7 Orochi scales, but nope. We got 3, and we got 14,000 coins. So basically, this is another way to get income from, from coins. From this, it's like you selling your souls, right? Then there is another function for sorting. You can set it to, fit, to feed, which is like, currently these are all your souls unsorted. I say I want to put this one, this shadow one, to feed. I'm select it. I'm put it to feed. Where it says success. Now I go to feed, and it's there. So it's like later on when you want to feed your souls, like you can set which ones you want to feed, which ones you want to keep, like so that they won't be fed. Or you can just recover it, okay, and and it'll back to wherever it was. So this was sorted by like grade and stuff and like you can put all the parameters that you want this is some sort of soul management system let's say i'm looking for a slot two grade six that has main stat speed cool i have one and let's say let's assume i have like 10 and i want some more that has a subset of speed you know that's what i do and this one has it all right uh so i can just sort it two feet or whatever it is okay let's go back but more functions of it. Mm, not just the functions. Let's let's show how to feed souls. So here's the thing. You can power up any soul. In my opinion. Um, let's take a look at souls. 
Let's go for a slot three. Hopefully there's some good slot threes I can make some examples of. Mm. Okay, let's say this this is a good example. This soul age one here, right? Okay, here's a great six soul with a speed substat, you know, plus three. Now, what's the difference between a great six, great five, great four, great three? Which ones are worth keeping? Which ones are worth um, bringing up? I would say great three, great four is great for like like powering them up. And then you can skip grade 5 and head on straight away to grade 6. Why? Because grade 5 costs a lot, but their substats are equal to grade 4, 3, 4s, and 5. Uh, let's find one of the speed. Alright, this one. So this Azure Soul that I have here, right? It's only got speed plus 2 as the base and crit, crit plus 2. Whilst a grade 6 one starts off with plus three speed as a base and it goes up increments of three i've never seen it go up increment higher than three so far not yet i haven't seen anything that goes up higher than three so far it's been three plus three plus three so on and so forth well this azure one so the souls power up at like plus three plus six plus nine plus twelve and plus fifteen so it can power up five times um sometimes you know, you could be lucky and it, there's only two substats that goes up all the way. Sometimes it unlocks the third substat, it unlocks the fourth substat, so on and so forth. Um, so it's going to be random though, which which sub it will power up. So usually, of course, if you have a legend soul, say this is a legend soul. Legend as in like, it's a summoner's war term. I know legend is summoner's war term. There's no term for it here. So basically, it's a soul that has all the subsets unlocked. Like this soul age one. It has four subsets unlocked. So when you power them up, it will randomly go into either the, the first subset or the second or the third or the fourth. If you're lucky, all five times will power up. And let's say, let's say if you're lucky and it goes all to speed. So let's say it's plus three times five, 15 plus three, that would be like 18 speed. That, that would be the dream, right? But yeah, you know, reality is always not like that. Or you can even get like grade 6, and it only has 3 subs. Um, I'm sure that I have some more grade 6 that only has 2 subs. Um, do I have it? Yeah, yeah, there's a grade 6 here with only 2 subs. So, this is the RNG part of it. Oh yeah, before we carry on further, I'm going to tell you guys that this is going to be a very long and draggy video. Because I just want to talk about this and I, I'm no expert about souls, no. I've started about the same time you guys did. I even started later, I started 10 days after the soft launch. I started on the 14th or 15th of January, something like that. So I've only been playing for exactly a month. Yeah, it's the 15th right now for me. So it's like I've been playing for exactly one month. So my knowledge is based on my observation and whatever I've read currently. You know, I, I'm in no, this is by no ways a guide. No, it's not. It's just my thoughts on it. So we're just talking about this stuff, right? So yeah, um, great six souls can also have only just two subsets. But again, like why I say great five is negligible, and you can go to like great um, four ones instead because it's it's not much difference. Uh, let me just pull up. Um, hold up, guys. One second. I'm gonna pull up. Oh man, I should have done this prior. Uh, soul stats. Okay, cool. I've got this uh, diagram right here for my for my convenience, right? So let's say attack percent. All right. See, attack percent for a great six will give you up to fifty-five percent attack bonus, right? For a great five. Where is it? Oh, sorry, I don't have the percentage ones. I only have the flat ones. God damn it. Um, I think it's similar to the crit chance one. So for a grade five, plus 15 should be 38. Let me just, let me just ensure that it is 38, right? Hold on, one second. So I don't want to feed you guys like wrong knowledge here. It is 38, so it's the same as crit chance. Okay, fine. Right, back to... Tengu change this one and we were looking at um, this attack bonus right okay so attack bonus for a grade 6 goes up 55% attack bonus for grade 
five will only go up to 38%. Whilst a grade four is 36%. Grade three, I don't remember, it probably was like 34%, I think. Uh, so it's like increments of 222. Two, two. But whilst there's a big jump for grade six from uh, instead of 38, it's 38 for grade five and it's 55% for grade six. So basically, grade three, four, five. They're about the same, very, very similar in stats. You know, it's just a small increase from there. So it's fine to power up grade 3 to plus 15. It's fine to power up grade 4 to plus 15. Grade 5 to plus 15 is a bit of a waste in my opinion. I mean, like, you're better off releasing them and getting uh, coins and stuff from it. Why? Because let's look at some grade 4 souls. See whether we have any good ones. Sorry, I, I know I should have, like, done this prior, but... Because, see, even like Great Fours, you can have like three subs unlocked. Um, I think I've got some okay ones here for Fortune Cat, I think. Um, hold up, hold up. No, it's not here. Where is it? Alright, look like at this Watcher one, right? Let's say we're talking about speed. Okay, let's talk about speed. Let's assume that you want to talk about like powering up speed substats. If you were to power up a grade 5 one, it will also only add on plus 2 speed. I've never seen, I've yet yet to see a grade 5 soul with all 4 unlocked. Usually it's 2 or 3, I've never seen with all 4 unlocked. Not yet, maybe it is, you know, maybe for my case it just hasn't dropped for me. So I'm just, basically, again, it's off my observation. You're better off just powering this grade 4 one because uh, it's going to be increments of 2 still. And it's going to cost you way less. You know, there, there'll be no extra bonuses to it. So it's like, even if it's a grade 3, 4 or 5, when it's plus 2, assuming like all 5 rolls go into speed, right, it's plus 2. So 2 times 5 is 10, 10 plus this base speed of 2, it becomes 12 speed still, regardless whether it's grade 3, grade 4 or grade 5. Well, grade 3 might not have 3 subs unlocked, you know, but grade 4, definitely I know that, that we have here one that's unlocked. I haven't seen grade 3 souls in a while, because... Um, I don't know why. I've just been farming souls, perhaps. That's why. But yeah. So that's why I think it's alright to skip grade 5 souls. Um, I, I know I'm, I have I had my Ibaraki on a grade 5 soul. But that was before I knew any better. Now now I know better. I'm like, you know what? Instead of plus 15-ing grade, grade 5s, I'll just do grade 4s. Because even the main, sub, main stat difference is only 2%. But the subs, they power up about... It's similar. Very, very similar. Okay, what else do we want to talk about? Um, is there any wasted, like, like frequently asked questions would be like, um, is there any wasted souls, like from powering up with shitty stats? Let's do something. Alright, let's go to Kamai. Change slot 2. I've got this tree spirit here which I want to level up. Alright, so I'm going to go and feed. So I'll sort by levels. Okay, here's the thing. I have one tree named here. Which, it was a legend soul. You know, it had uh, speed plus 3, it had HP bonus, and uh, God knows whatever it was. Um, but it didn't even go once into speed. I, I did it, like, I powered it up. I wanted, like, plus 15 YOLO one time, you know, like, like just brought it up to 15 one time. But none of it went to speed at all. So, it's a pre pretty wasted soul. I was expecting to get, like, at least, like, 10 speed or 11 speed, you know, so that I can give it to Shuzu. Apparently not, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use this, now that it's already plus 15, I'm going to use it as fodder material, and you can see that I can level up my soul to plus 13. I'm going to take another one here, which nothing went to speed, right? Uh, I can pretty much like sack, like use this as fodder, but plus 6 one, it will bring it up to... Okay, you know what, let's let's test this, like, will this one make it up to 14? No. Will this one make it up to 14? No. This one brings it up, at plus 6, it goes up to 14. 14 and plus a bit, right? And then we're probably going to sack this one also, to bring it up to plus 15 straight away. So basically, there's no useless souls, like, if it's a useless soul, you can just use it as EXP to power up a next soul. And it's only going to cost you 9,500 coins, instead of... 
I don't know how much is it gonna cost me to bring out all the eight or fifteen, maybe like four hundred K coins, I think. Somewhere around there. You know, if you just keep feeding it like great four souls. I think it's about four hundred K coins. I'm I don't have the math on it, like don't quote me on this. Let's go and see. Uh this is my second grade six slot to soul with speed. I'm hoping to get some more speed substats on here so that you know Kamai gets an upgrade. Gonna YOLO this, let's go, plus 15, one shot. Come on RNG Jesus. Bless me with some speed subs. Son of a bitch. Oh well, it is three speed more. So I'm still I'm still gonna swap it over though. Like I'm gonna remove that. Add this in. So it's still like three speed more. So now he's at two two four. Ah oh, man, that sucks. Only a one two speed increase. Um, I probably have something else that. Never mind. I'll do that another time. Okay. So that's pretty much how you power up souls. How you sort souls. That are the basic functions of the souls. So you change how you release them. How you sort it. Like some soul management. Uh, how it powers up. The differences between grade four, grade five, and grade six souls. Now, for this one, we probably talk about DPS souls. I mean, I could stop the video here and then talk about DPS souls another time, but I think we can squeeze it in. Let's talk about DPS souls. DPSs. Let's see. Um, what are the famous DPSs we have nowadays? Let's look at all my SSRs. Uh, all my SSRs are DPSs. So I have Utengu, which not really, he doesn't really construe as a DPS, like, cause when you look at his skill, right, when you look at his skill, which is Blade Storm, uh, it commands a storm or to rain blades onto all enemies to inflict four continuous attacks, dealing damage equal to 30%, 37% of Utengu's attack on each attack. So it's, uh, even if at max skill is like 57%, is it, is it 57%? I have no idea. Like, I'm not sure whether the calculation is 5% of the 37% or is it... Or is it, um, like, increase, like, 37 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, so making it 57. Not sure. But let's, let's just assume that it's, um... Let's go with a low number, right? So it's, like, 20% off the 37%, which makes it, like, 6%. 6 point something percent so making it like 45 let's say 45 percent 4 times 45 is 180 percent of his attack so 100 percent 180 percent of his attack is um 7180 percent is like 10k just like 10k damage so divide that by 4 is like 2.5k per hit which is pretty much what i'm getting like when i fight people in pvp 2.5 to 2.8k per hit when i hit people in pvp you know, it differs, like, when, when I fight, like, Krakens, it's different, it's, like, 6k per hit, something. The thing why people use him as a DPS now in early game is because of the Seductress Soul set. So, Seductress Soul set. A two-set effect, it gives 15% crit. Four-set effect, it grants a 40% chance of inflicting damage equal to 10% of the target's max HP when landing a crit. That's why people are talking about you need to have 100% crit rate. So currently I have a 105% crit rate. 10 plus 95, making it 105% crit rate. And um, what's this? And, and we get this effect here, which is um, inflicting damage equal to 10% of the target's max HP. So if the target's max HP is like 100k, so there will be like a 10k bonus. But, 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 this seductress proc it's only up to 120% of own attack. So my own attack right now is um, 7.8k. So 120% of 7.8k. This Seductress set buffs with, uh, stacks with the Realm attack buff. It doesn't stack with any other buff, I think. So it's like 4.8, uh, 7.7, 7.8, 7.8, 120% of it is like, so 7 is, 3k, 3, no, no, it's not 3k, um, 7, let's just say it's about 10k, you know, alright, it's about 10k, it is about 10k, I think, you know, it's about 8k plus 10k, something like that, so that's why sometimes when you see Tango hit, there's like those white, white color, 
numbers, there's those white digits are the seductress proc sometimes. Because it's only a 40% chance to, to proc. Now, um, yeah, oh yeah, there's another thing that I want to talk about. These two sets, right? Let's say I have a seductress here, right? So when you put on a two set, you get 15% crit rate. When you put on a four set, you don't get 15 plus 15. You only get the initial 15% and the four, four set step. That's it. All right, so it's not going to be 30% crit rate when you put four. However, if it's completely different sets, let's say like it's a crit. Let's say it's a, this claw set, right? If it's a claw set, and then you say you have um, a scarlet set. I uh, know it's not a scarlet set. A watcher set as well. No, sorry, watchers. God damn it, man. Shadow set. A shadow set is also 15% crit rate, right? So assume you have like um, seductress and shadow and samisen, all right? So you have 45%. Let's say I have two seductress, two shadow, two samisen. That'll make it like 45% crit rate, but they will have no four set bonus. You know, but if it was a seductress, you get 15% crit, and on top of that, if you have a four of it, you get the four set stat. Then for your last two, you can just put in any other crit ones that you want. Let's say uh, we can put the Summerson one, and it will increase another 15%. So in total, you will get like 30% crit rate from from these six souls. Right, uh, 30%. Let's calculate that. Let's do the math. I have like 30% crit rate here because I have um, Seductress 4 set and Seductress 2 set. So 15, 15, 30. I have plus 95, so 95 minus 30 is 65. I have 55 here, so I have another 10% crit rate from other subs, which is 5% there. And 6% there, so it's 11. They round it up, right? It's supposed to be 11, it's supposed to be plus 96. But they kind of round it up to like lesser. I have no idea why. It's weird. Maybe decimals or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about DPS souls, right? So let's, let's look at that. Types of souls. Uh, so we've got six attack. Okay, we're going to talk about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten souls today. Let's go with the Harpy one first. So their two set stack is attack bonus 15%. The four set stack is going three orbs when an enemy is KO'd. Could be useful. I mean, this game is all about your creativity. You could use it and gain like a four set set of three orbs and, you know, plus 15% attack bonus, which. I'm not too sure who can use it. Probably like Kuro Mujo or something like that you know, if it's good enough <clears throat> to 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 kill off someone, they can gain three orbs. I don't know. I'm really not sure. I don't see a lot of people using it. I don't even see a lot of people using it for the two set stat. Oh, before we go there, what kind of improvements do I make to my current Otengu? Like initially, early game, people would go with attack. We're gonna people are gonna go with like for, for DPSs they're gonna go with like attack attack and crit rate why because they want the 100% seductress proc right the 100% critical rate so that the seductress will proc later on people will move people will shift from attack attack and this one will be crit damage um, crit damage then will be like either I don't know people still telling me like they, they went with like 100% crit rate and then they went like 250, 270, 280% crit damage and so on and so forth but from different games last time previously we used to play like 70% crit rate is fine, 85% crit rate was fine I have no idea yet because we're still in the early game stage where most of my substats suck so yeah these are all sucky substats uh, it's got nothing to do at all with with the DPS that I want. Like like uh, like, let's go through my my soul sets again first. So attack and crit. That's the only two subsets that I want. Effect rest and HP bonus is rubbish. So basically, this is a very replaceable rule, uh, re replaceable soul. Um, attack bonus here. I've got one attack bonus and crit damage 15%, which is pretty nice. 
So effect res and defense is not optimal, like if it was speed and and crit or flat attack, that would be a much nicer root soul. Again for here, I have flat attack, I have attack bonus and I have crit damage. If this effect hit was speed or something, it would have been much better. Or, or crit chance, you know, if it was crit chance then I probably, if all these souls had crit chance, like, like crit rate, so let's say if I had like a crit rate, you know, plus 7% here and a crit rate plus 7% here and a crit rate, you know, plus 7% here and a crit rate, well there is a crit rate here, <laughs> and if I had a crit damage here with like 19% crit rate, I probably would not be using like a crit rate soul, soul you know, like I'd probably be using like a crit damage soul. But no, we're not at that level yet where... I'm not at the level yet where I have access to souls. That, that I have a lot of souls and have like perfect souls. So we're not going to talk about perfect souls. We're just going to talk about like standard builds for the game currently. So you have to note that this is the 15th of February, you know, like... Currently, it's still early, early game, you know. Like people have just been playing the game for a month and, and, and 10 days. A month and 11 days. So myself is just a month on the dot. So... So obviously most of the souls that we have are going to be rubbish. All right. So I'm one thing though, however, I'm not sure because like in some games I played, people go to speed, crit damage and attack. All right. In some games, I'm not sure whether this game will lead to that direction. I'm unsure of that, but I know for sure it will definitely lead to attack, attack, crit damage. But currently people are still running on attack, attack, crit rate. That's it. And what I can improve more from this is I could probably like if I got more crit chance, I would probably change this 15% crit bonus to like a 15% attack bonus. If I can change it to 15% attack bonus, that's like subtle subtle changes. If I can change it to like 15% attack bonus set somewhere, right? I would probably get a lot more uh, mileage out of it because 15% of 3000 because it's going to be 15% of your base that is right so it's like 300 plus uh, let's say 310 plus another 155 so it's like 465 if I can get it from 465 attack there that'll make it like plus 5200 attack so it's like plus 8k that'd be great which I'm pretty sure I can do like in the near future I'm not going to do it right now like I'm just gonna leave it be uh, what is there to talk about yes so that's what I would improve on my Tengu that's how I would progress from now on and we're gonna go back to the types of souls again sorry digressing I know there was no plans no charts nothing apologize apologies about that so unorganized right so we talked about the harpy set uh, we can talk about watcher watchers actually in my opinion could be a great set see let's talk about the team that i'm currently running like you guys have seen it in the videos <clears throat> i run um tengu as my main dps and then ibaraki doji is my second dps see supposedly i should be running a watcher set on ibaraki because he is the slower one because if he is the slower one and tengu has done some damage this watcher set as your second dps on your second DPS would actually be a lot better than having like what I currently have which is a shadow set right because it deals an extra 50% damage against units with less than 30% HP so assuming that Tango goes in then he kills uh, like like he does some damage and there's like units left with less than 50% uh, less than 30% HP and then um, I Baraki then with this set could deal an extra 50% damage and then that damage will spill over to to the other shikigamis and i could probably wipe them out you know really quickly this this is great for like um your second dps i would say assuming your first dps is a heavy heavy hitter and this would be great for your second dps apart from that it's, it also has 15 percent attack bonus it's not a bad set to be honest not a bad set at all great for second dps's then we've got um house imp deals an extra 30 percent damage when target is in a controlled state so this game is all about your creativity so assume that i don't have 
Utengu. Like I, I don't have Utengu on a damage build. Let's say I run him on um, Mimic. All right. Let's say I run him on a CC set. So assume I've frozen all my enemy Shikigamis, and now my Ibaraki moves next, or my Ubumi moves next, and I have this one. He will deal an extra 30% damage because they are in a control state. Which is not bad, but... Again, the Watcher set might be better if you're running like 2 damage dealers. But then again, now, people are getting tankier, so maybe they want to go... Maybe you might want to go to a strategy where you CC first and then you deal damage later. And then, um, so that but if they're frozen, then you can move again and then you CC again. And then you deal damage again. This could also be a great strategy. I mean, this is my thoughts. I'm... I don't know whether I want to go that way. But it's possible, and that's one of the strategies. That is a nice looking soul, though. That is a nice looking soul. I didn't even know I had it. Like, wow. So it's, this is almost perfect. It's like, it's attack percent. Oh, but it's fucking attack percent. God damn it, why is it slot 6 attack percent? <sighs> it's got attack, it's got speed, it's got crit damage. If we had crit rate here, it would have been perfect. Or flat attack. Um, maybe that might be used for, for it. I don't know. I, I don't know. Probably no way. Because it's like it's a slot 6 attack percent. Like Some games, I know that if you put like triple attack slots, it would do a lot of damage. But this game is like... Feels, kind of feels like... Um crit damage or crit rate does a lot more because here I have like 200% crit damage so it's like <coughs> I do double the damage I think when it crits so yeah uh, where were we so yeah that's that's sad that, that it's a great soul but it's like on the wrong slot if this was a slot 1 or slot 4 uh, sorry slot 2 or slot 4 it would have been perfect Moving on, we have the Scarlet Soul set, which I will be using for my counter comp. Like I've talked about it on stream, I've talked about it in some of my videos where I will be using a Scarlet set uh, for my counter team, which will consist of. Um, let me just show you guys. I'm almost there with it. Like um, I'll be using Shuten, Hito, Shuzu, and then for my fourth and fifth members, I will probably use like Ibisu and. Uh, Inogami. Alright, that's that's the counter team I'm going for. And um, it's great to put on shooting this Scarlet because the counter teams this set grants a 35% chance of using a normal attack to counter when taking damage. So when we take damage, like we counter, but it's a 35% chance to counter. Which is pretty cool. Like it's got an attack bonus, um 15% attack bonus stat. I think it's great for people that want to use it for counter teams, but as a second sub, uh, like as like as a two set, it's also great still because it fifteen percent attack bonus. So you can get enough crit. This can't go wrong with this. Like uh, if you're in a counter team, this is great. Great for like, people like Vampira. Great for people like uh, Inogami. Great for shooting. And then uh, what else do we have? I mean, I'm just lightly touching on this. I'm not like going all in on like strategy and stuff because I myself don't know. But again, like I said, this is just slightly touching on it. Then we have Soul Taker. All right. If you guys are familiar with Summoner's War, this would be your violent set. So in Summoner's War, violent is really, really, really OP. You know, you get like a 22% chance, uh, 22%, 22%, 23%, I don't remember, 23% or 22% chance to move again. But here, this one grants a 20% chance of gaining one extra move after performing an action. Pretty OP. Pretty OP. Like, uh, but in this game, not so popular, I think. Currently, currently not so popular. But, pretty legit. I mean, some people have different strategies. Maybe you want to use this. Um... Maybe this game will go to the direction of multiple violent procs or multiple soul taker procs. I've got to keep it right. This is on Muji, not Summoner's War, so we've got to talk, say it in soul. So, multiple soul taker procs. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I kind of did like like it. I, I kind of did it once, but it didn't seem to proc much, so I dropped the set like 
after that like I really dropped the set like it just didn't do much then we're moving on to the last attack set that we have which I only have one soul of right which is Nightwing Nightwing it's got like a vamp vampiric uh, effect to it. it converts 20% of the damage dealt into HP so it's like you know most damage dealers are most of your damage dealers are are glass cannons right so maybe early on in the game this might be really good like early early on maybe like level 10 level 15 somewhat you know it might be really good to have it like really early on because then you can like put this set on and you can farm without a healer because sometimes i don't know man like 20 percent of damage dealt into hp i think it's quite right but if it's if your damage deal is slow and low hp you probably die anyway it's okay I would say it's great but again it's all strategy it might be really great later on you know who knows I don't know for now in the game I don't think it's as popular as the seductress set nor the scarlet set nor the shadow set so it's all about the attack bonus set so which is like which gives attack percent um, two set bonus we're going to talk about the crit sets so we have four four crit sets to go to to go through i uh, will talk about shadow first so shadow soul set is pretty popular popularly used why can't i move oh right, see. no sorry create all okay so um, shadow set is pretty popularly used by Ibaraki Doji. So people have like a double pool combo. Like uh, I'm pretty sure you guys been hit by it before, or you guys are using it yourself. Like you've watched my videos where I got wrecked by Ibaraki Dojis who have like faster kamatachis than me. So what they do is they go in with their double pools and um, Zashiki like trades off and their Ibaraki Doji moves. And this set deal gives like a two set gives 15% crit chance, but four sets that you know deals an extra 40% damage against units with more than 70% HP. So if Ibaraki Doji was your first DPS, that means the one in the turn order, your first DPS that moves first, this set makes a lot of sense. But in my current com composition, my current team composition, this set doesn't make sense. I have no idea why the fuck I have this soul set on him right now. Maybe because I was thinking that I would probably get some good speed subs or something like that like going forward from here but apparently not uh, mine sucks my soul sucks I haven't even powered them up well most of them like the rest of this just like placeholders like I have a better one than this um, I have this it's like some crit damage there some flat attack uh, some crit chance Probably put that on your toe or something but yeah it's a great soul set it works currently it works really well currently moving forward it might not work so well i don't know but yeah great for your first dps i mean if your first dps is utengu though and maybe currently you just want to use instead of shadow you might want to use like seductress so that because he has four chances of proccing seductress right to give the extra bit of damage but Ibaraki Doji going first before Utengu is a, a, a good strategy like don't do like what I do I, I run Utengu first then Ibaraki Doji just because mine's not not done yet right so moving on what other soul sets do we have I can imagine how many dislikes we're gonna get about this video yeah so we've got claws claws is pretty interesting Grants a 50% chance of ignoring targets defense by 45% when dealing damage. Um, if you guys are familiar with Summoner's War, defense break or ignoring defense, like anything to do with defense reduction and ignoring enemies' defense does a shitload of damage. Apparently, in this game, not so. Right? And it's also not a 100% chance, just a 50% 50 chance of ignoring a target's defense by 45%. So not so popular currently. I don't know. Moving forward, it might be popular. Um, you guys can experiment with it. I'm not going to do it because like I have lack of resources. 
you can see like my coins I only have like 160k coins and I, that's not even enough to power up souls currently like I have a lot of souls that have not powered up it's uh, on paper on paper when you're reading it grants 50% chance of ignoring targets defense with 45% it sounds OP it sounds OP as hell it's like no defense I'm gonna fuck him up right but the defense in this game is already pretty low. Like, my Tango's defense is like... Let's have a look. What's his defense at? 419 plus uh, 120. So it's like 420, 120. It's 540, 538. 538 defense. So you ignore 45% of that. It's like, say, 250. Say 250. What's the difference in the damage? I don't know. I haven't done it. I haven't done the calculations. I haven't tested it out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether it's viable, but I know it's not so popular. I would love to test it out though, but like eventually, not now. Now it's just, <coughs> I don't know, with a lot of stuff happening in real life, all the family reunions and, and holidays and stuff, and the lack of game time, it's, uh, it's a bit too much. Moving on, we have Samisen, which a lot of people, a lot of people, people who played Summoner's War especially, thought that this was the Swift set, which increases speed of control allies by 30. The fucking wording, I'll tell you. Increases speed of control allies by 30. What this means is it increases the speed of your allies under a controlled or debuff state, say like a frozen state or a day state or confused state then this soul will take effect so it, 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 what, it, what it does is it just adds 30 speed to your current speed so that you can get a turn quicker so you can get out of that control state quicker I would think that this would make a lot of sense later on in the future yeah I'm sorry guys like the the fireworks like shooting like people are just burning money I mean god damn it guys it's a lot of money to burn but yeah, but it's celebrations like it, it's a pretty normal thing here. <clears throat> I digress. Going back, maybe later on in the future when when people go with more cancerous teams with with more CC, CC is crowd control, of course. When people start to go more CC based, then this might be a popular set. I don't know. I can't predict the future. I didn't play the Taiwanese server, so I can't say for sure. Uh, it has its uses. Like I, I'll admit, it has its uses. It's pretty cool. It does have its uses. It's really, really cool. Um, but probably not now for me. For me at least. For me at least it's not now. Later on maybe, perhaps. Yes. Now we move on to Seductress, which needs no more, no further introduction. Seductress set is currently one of the most popular sets out there, apart from Shadow, to be used on your main DPS. Um, it's great on multi-hitters. You want multi-hitters to use them, like people like Utengu, people like Yotohime because then they would have like Utengu would have four chances of proccing the set bonus which is a 40% chance of inflicting damage equal 10% of the target's max HP when landing a crit so obviously when you equip this select soul set you need like 100% crit rate so that when this activation rate okay let's talk about this when this activation this 40% chance of activating when this 40% chance of activating when when it activates you want to ensure that it's a crit right you want to ensure that it's a crit and when it crits like it'll do that 10% damage because you don't want it to activate and you don't crit and then it'll never activate because that would just make the whole set pointless it's great for Ubumi it's great for Utengu currently it's great for Yotohime I'm out of um, stuff to say about the Seductress but yeah, <clears throat> so basically that's the attack-oriented souls that we currently have in the game. I will try my best to talk about support, sub souls for support tomorrow. Uh, I, I really, really, I, I would try my best to talk about it tomorrow because I'm not sure what I have lined up because my parents are staying over and my, my brothers are coming and so it's my auntie and stuff and it's because I got the bigger crib. 
and I'm in the city centre, right? So like people are just converging in my house just because it's the holidays, and and yeah, so I might be busy, busy. Uh, can't promise anything, but hopefully tomorrow I'll, I'll record another one and do it. Hopefully a better recording, you know, because this one now my thoughts just all over the place, not organised at all. So yeah, uh, this was the DPS, like let's talk about souls for DPS and let's talk about the basic soul function. So let's recap a bit, right, we went in um, from the main page, we went, oh what do we have here? One sec guys, we'll call it reward, cool. So we go in, oh we got a shard, yeah. So, so, so we, sorry, 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 one more time, we went in. Go details, you go to souls, you go to change, and you've got all these three different um, functions here that you can use. Uh, then we talked a bit about the soul stuff that you can do, and uh, oh, one more thing I could talk about profiles. You can talk about profiles, right? Um, let's go back out. So I have profiles set. Like, I will put my speediest set, I'll, I'll put it as speed 1, I think. I think, yeah, I got speed 1 is my, uh, you know what, let's save it. Let's save it. This one, I just changed because I just got another 3 speed more. 2 speed. It's 3 speed, but the fucking game just gave me like 2 speed more, and yeah, I have no idea why. So I'm going to save this, save profile, and go for fastest. Right, I can just put anything. Fastest. So basically, you still you, you save that profile. I got profile two. I can either like the, it will show you what what the souls are. Um, you can edit the souls that you want, or you can even delete it. And so I'm gonna delete the profile because I no longer use that soul set. No, I did use that soul set. Sorry, it was speed one that I wanted to start delete. Never mind. Fuck it. I mean, I'll I'll create a new profile for. Soul too. So basically, I can just swap. Like, I'll put this on Kamaitachi, right? And if I'm going to uh, Soul Ten, I'll swap, swap it over, and I'll and I'll and I'll go to Bunny, and then I'll go to Profile. Right, I'm gonna save it again now. This one. So this has go for like Speed Two. Okay, this is like the second fastest set that I have. Then, All right? So I can just switch over or do just Profile. Say I'm going to Soul Ten. Click on Fastest. Click on Equip. Equip, confirm, and voila, we have a faster set on Bunny now. Or I can just go back, give her the second faster speed set I have, and everything's all good. It's all Gucci, right? I go back to Kamai, Souls profile, put the fastest, equip. So, so this is the functions for the Souls. Then uh, apart from that, we went in. We also talked a bit about DPS souls and what kind of souls you want to have for your DPS. Um, I'm gonna give you examples again. So Tengu, Seductress, Ibaraki Doji. If he's going first, Shadow. If he's going after Ibaraki, like how mine is set up right now, and I've wrongly sold him up with Shadow, I probably go Watcher, which is pretty much what I'll do. Shoot in Doji. Um, I'm using him in my counter team, so it makes sense to have a counter set in him, which is the Scarlet. And the two set I'll probably use like a, another, like that's why I have a Seductress set here, so it has more crit. Then uh, Yotohime, I've got a Seductress set on her because she hits lots of times. Where is it? Savage combo. I, I, I haven't really been working on bringing her up like I have, but. It's taking a while, this game is pretty grindy and with only spending as much as I've been spending which is alright, I mean it's okay um, I've, I've been giving out like SJ packs for Valentine's uh, yesterday and also today I just gave it all to the girls in the guild you know like everyone got one because I just thought hey why not you know like let's do something cool for once and uh, the fuck was I saying? Fuck. Uh, well, hold on, hold on. Yotohime, Yotohime. Right, so so I haven't really been working on him. Uh, what I have been working on was the counter team. Like, I, I want to, I wanna, like, get it up ASAP. 
So one, two, three, four. Four of these are G5 right now. The next one I'll probably do Ibisu and Doggy. Right, Doggy or even uh, Amiona. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe just just Doggy. Like, like I'll bring Doggy up or Samurai Axe. But I definitely like I, I, my plan is to bring all of them to give a great five. Bring all of them great five. Then we can test out different comps and uh, and of course my other plans are also to like plus my souls. Come on, come on, man! I'm still running on plus zero souls. Like people will be laughing at me. Like they they're progressing way faster than I am. I'm running plus zero souls. My momo, my momo is like I I I mean I, see I fucked up. Like I'll be honest with you guys, I fucked up. In the sense that, I, I, because the, the the great five ones had the gold gold go frame around it, right? I thought it was equally as good as a great six one. But after powering them, I'm like, this is bullshit, man. This is pure bullshit. Like great five souls are pure bullshit. You're better off running like great four souls, and they would do the job that uh, as good, you know, if not even better than them. Like yeah, because it will cost way less to plus fifteen them anyway. Because they quite require like less XP, and the difference would be like two percent HP. But the sub increase will be the same. So yeah, um, I hope some people find this video helpful. If you do, do leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you found this video shit, leave a dislike. But also please fucking comment and tell me what the fuck you dislike about it. I apologize for the profanity, but. This is unedited, uncut. Cause it's not cause I'm lazy. Well, yeah, I am lazy, but then again, it's cause After Effects has problems. And um, what else? What else did I talk about? Oh yeah, um, basically the video about the souls is over. Here, I just want to talk about like uh, Valentine's Day. Okay, why I want to talk about this? Cause last night when I went for my Valentine's Day dinner on the radio. Yeah, I know, I didn't play a fucking mixtape, right? I, I just... We used the radio because, like, we wanted to check out, like, which spots which were, were, had traffic in it and which spots didn't have traffic in it. And there was this PSA, you know, about depression. It's pretty sad, like, like... I'm just farm something and, and we'll, we'll talk about this for a bit, like, because I, I kind of like to do this, you know, like, talk about stuff, weird stuff. So, um... So you can see, like, how I farm. Uh, right now, people are out for reunion dinner, so so no, so so we'll just be doing solo. So yeah, um, shit. One sec, guys. Let's get this right. Come on, we can't even get this right. Can't even get this right. All right, so yeah, as, as I was saying, as, as, as my date and I were driving, uh, we went to this Greek restaurant, but there was a PSA on the radio, you know, they were talking about depression. So I thought that maybe like, I will talk a bit about it, like, cause you know, you might be a bit depressed, like if you didn't have a date for Valentine's. But think of it this way, you know, like, um, this game and life are pretty much the same. In this game, you put in a lot of effort to farm. So if you want to date, you know that you need to change. Like like if you want a girlfriend or if you want to start dating or you want people to notice you and shit, you know, you have to start change, changing something about your lifestyle. I mean, if it's by choice that you don't have a date, that like like, like you, you didn't give a shit and you wanted to stay at home and stuff like that, that's cool. That's cool and all, you know, but I'm talking about the people that who were not by choice, you know, like either they got rejected or like they didn't have the courage to do it. I'm saying that the change needs to come from you, you know, you can't just be sitting on your ass and expecting like the girl to come up to you, like, like you can't go to a fucking bar and like expect the girl to come up to you and say, hey handsome, how, how you doing, you know, no, this shit doesn't happen, it only happens in the movies or if you look like Brad Pitt, okay fine, Brad Pitt's not like a really good example nowadays, I think people will find him like, most younger people don't know who Brad Pitt is, I think. Uh, Zach Efron, fine. I think I think that's like one of the only new actors that I know names of. Yeah, so um, unless you look like him, right, you're probably not going to get picked up by any girl, right? And if you're overweight, what? I mean, there's nothing wrong with being overweight, but I'm saying that if 
you know, if you want to instill confidence in yourself and want to get this kind of stuff done, do something about it, you know? Like, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. That don't happen, you know, unless summoning. Like, summoning is a completely different thing because there's a chance for it to happen, you know? But if you're sitting down doing the same thing and expecting life to, like, you know, hand stuff over to you without you doing anything, then, nah, man, it's not gonna happen. But yeah, depression is a pretty bad issue. Like, I mean, it's it has to be really bad. I mean, in my country, it's got to be really bad until people have a PSA about it. You know, like a public service announcement on the radio targeting depressed people. Like, it's it's got to be in a really bad state for that shit to come out, right? So, yeah. So, if any of you guys do suffer from the depression or whatever, you know, join my Discord. Like, we'll, we'll talk or whatever uh, and stuff. Like, like, if you need someone to talk to, just, just do that. And if you don't feel sad that you didn't have a date for Valentine's, you know, like it's it's cool, it's fine, you know, everybody goes through that. I'm pretty sure like I had a year or two where I didn't have a date Valentine's Day myself. And yeah, 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 I think I just was, I have no idea what the fuck I just said, like why did I do that? But this is, uh, I guess this is it guys, this is Zelf signing out, and I hope this video was fun. I wish like somebody else did a video about this to me because I just went all over the place. And once again, guys, happy Valentine's Day and happy Chinese New Year. Koi Fajoy.